name is Gary Gross, and this is another episode of Flying Charts Your Business Lessons in Brief, and today's topic is Grandma's Business Lesson. Now, what was that exactly? Well, let me tell you. When I was 11 years old, I learned Grandma's Business Lesson. I'm a young kid. I'm staying up at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Big house, right? A lot of fun. I'm up there, but I couldn't sleep one. So I got up and I'm walking around the house. And I stumble into the kitchen. And it's dark, but over in the corner, in the darkness, I can see Grandma. And she's sitting at the kitchen nook table. And she's sipping some tea. She's got a big smile on her face. And like the clueless 11 year old I was, I just barged right on in on her private moment, invaded her space, and said, Grandma, what's going on? How come you're smiling? Well, she was not happy that I was up at that hour, but she was happy to talk to me. So she brought me over and she sat me down and she said, Well, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you a little story. See, my grandma worked for Boeing during World War II. She was one of the Rosie the Riveter people. And that was quite an experience for her. One day, while she was working, she got the news that her boss wanted to see her in her, his office. All right, this was disconcerting for her. She was nervous. She was scared. She was thinking, oh boy, I've done something wrong. But she goes in there, and the boss sits her down, and he says to her, Viola, I just wanted to tell you that I wish I had a million of you. He says, you show up on time. You do great work. You have good spirits. Make everybody that you work around happy. You train the new people. You work hard every single day. And I just wanted to tell you that I appreciated it and wanted to thank you. That was it. She didn't get a raise. She didn't get a promotion. She didn't get a uh, top employee parking spot. Nothing except genuine, sincere appreciation and thanks. So here she is, 20 years after the fact, sitting in the dark, replaying that moment, and enjoying it again. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's something. I'm 11 years old, I don't really get it. But I somehow knew that was important. I was young, so I didn't understand. But I'm old now, and I do get it. And I know that when we're trying to measure our success as business managers, as people managers, a lot of times we look at our stats, our productivity, our revenue per body, our ROI, our profit margins. We use those as feedback to tell us whether we're doing well or not. And I'm just here to suggest to you that maybe you should have one other thing you look for. Because if you have the opportunity, and you do, that power is with you. You have that opportunity to create a special moment just like that for every one of your deserving employees. And if you do not take advantage of that opportunity, then you're totally missing the boat. Because there we were. <laughs> I get, I get choked up when I just think about it. It was a real experience. There we were sitting in the kitchen nook 20 years later. And she's still thinking about it. That's powerful. So when you measure your performance, and you measure whether or not you've had success, I'm telling you, don't just look at the numbers. Measure your success by the quantity and quality of those soft, silent smiles in the dark that you generate 20 years from now. For only they are the true measurement. And only they endure. My name is Gary Bros. That was another episode of Flying Short, Short Business Lessons in Brief. And you've been a wonderful audience. Hello.